Hey y'all, it's your girl Tina here, and I'm here with another journal entry to my July insert. So, here we are still on Las Vegas Boulevard, and my friend spots the Hershey store, which is directly across the street from the M&M store. And my friend says, oh, Hershey's. We got to go into the Hershey store. Now, I've been to Vegas many, many, many times. And I've seen it every time I went. Never had a desire to go into it because I'm an m and &M girl. And I always go to the m and &M store. So, I was up for the challenge. Let's go. So, let me show you um, how I did this entry. First of all, I took my chocolate stamp and I stamped it. Diagonal this time instead of straight across all the way through the page. And then I took the candy apple um, distress stain and I just went over every other line. And I think it made a beautiful, beautiful um, background. Then I took a bag that they have at the Hershey store. Like the m and store, Hershey has a wall that dispenses out their candy. These are the bags that you can use to get the candy um, out of the dispensers. So I took the bag, I cut the bag up, and I made an overlay. And I just simply stapled it to that page. I love the way that it turned out. It has Las Vegas here, so I already have the landmark. And I love it. All I have to do is put the date, and I was undecided if I wanted to date this page or just um, have the other pages dated. I love this one. All right, so as we flip over, this is the continuation of that layout. All right, so when I went into the um, Hershey's store, Hershey's is smaller than the M&M store. I believe the M&M store has like four floors and Hershey's has like two. I think that's right. Yeah, Hershey has two. I'm not for sure if M&M have three or four, but they have more floors. It's a bigger store than Hershey's. So we went through the Hershey store and I noticed Georgia Honey Roasted Reese Cup. You all, I was like, what? Never seen this in the store before intrigued me instantly then i saw the payday with the texas barbecue sauce what caught my eye instantly so let me show you what i did for these two layouts because the colors in both of the wrappers were similar i used that and made a double page spread since it was the same store and the items um were similar in wraps I said this would be perfect. So what did I do? I took the antique linen distress stain and I stained the whole page, both sides. And then I took a close to my heart stamp, bee stamp set and I stamped bees and the beehives on this side because I was going to place the Reese cup, um, the honey roasted Reese cup on this side. Okay. Then I took a stencil that's from Prima. It's called Bubbles. And I use the um, orange pumpkin, carved pumpkin distress stain. And just distress both sides with the carved pumpkin with that, um, with that stencil. So you can see it on this side and this side. All right. Then I took my Tim Holtz. Uh, letters and I just stamped out Hershey store Hershey on one page and the store on the other to make a continuous flow and then I just put Vegas down here and here's that um here's that t uh, washi that I love you all that admit one it went perfect so I had to use it I had to use it again because it went perfect with this layout all right so what I did was I just took the candy wrappers on this wrapper I decided to staple at the bottom and it'll just be a flap. Okay. It's some more um, documentation that I'm going to put right here that I want to be hidden. So that's why I put it, put it like that. 
okay on this wrapper i stapled on both sides and i left this side open because i made a pocket here's my receipt and i have some tags uh memorabilia that i'm going to stick in here as well all right and then i just did my documentation so all right i know that i have some subscribers that has been waiting for this video about the payday but i'm going to start off with the Reese first georgia honey roasted Reese cup all right so i opened it up you all and it's okay it's nothing that i would look for search for desire again uh walk in the store and see it it wouldn't grab me i wouldn't be like oh i gotta get this it was just good um the honey is like a pure natural honey taste it does not taste artificial at all and uh pure honey has like a peculiar taste to me you know so that's definitely how i knew they used pure honey in this Reese cup all right it takes away from the taste of the peanut butter and the chocolate to me it's overpowering those two tastes um so for that reason a one out of ten i would give it a five it's it's okay it the the taste of the honey lingers in your mouth if that makes sense because later on in the day i still had that honey taste kind of like in my tongue so it was okay. I was glad that I experienced it. I was glad that I um, tried it. But again, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's not nothing that I'm going to pull my hair out of to try to find or crave or anything like that. It was just okay. All right, let's go to the Texas Barbecue Payday. Now, I'm a payday lover. And this thing really like grab my attention like barbecue and payday so let me just say this i'm not one of those girls that like the sweet and sour taste you know that um what do they call that kernel corn kind of i'm not really into that sweet and sour together uh if it's gonna be sour let it be sour if it's gonna be sweet let it be sweet that's where i am so this right here kind of made me say i don't want to try it but i had to try it because it was something different and i was like barbecue sauce of all things so if you all are familiar or watch my channel i did put up a video real quick while i was in the store and i said if i get three people to tell me to, that i should try this payday it's going down y'all know what's gonna happen all right so i got it i tried it and it was okay. <laughs> it was nothing to write home about. To be honest with you, the barbecue sauce is in a dry rub form. And they coat the, the uh, peanuts in this dry, uh, dry rub. So the peanuts not completely covered because it's a dry rub. So it's like hit and miss. Um, so... If you can pull off the peanuts, because that's what I started doing. I started just pulling off the peanuts and eating the middle of the payday. It was still payday. I love that part. The peanuts was not overbearing. The barbecue sauce was not overbearing. It was very light. So you just got like a hint of the barbecue sauce, but it still throws the taste off of the payday, period. So it was bearable. It was not strong like the Reese cup. Um, it's only in the peanuts. So, you know, if you want to purchase it and eat half of it with the peanuts and then take the other half off, it's okay. Um, like I said, it's nothing that will make me say, Ooh, would they bring that back? Ooh, I got to find more. It was just simply okay. And I'm glad that I experienced it. All right. With that being said, you know, I got to send somebody a payday. And what I did was the first person that responded to me on that video that said, yeah, go ahead, give it a try. I'm sending them this payday. And that is none other than Debbie Vignola. Debbie, thank you so much for supporting my channel, girl. This payday is on its way to you. All right, you all. So let me tell you the last thing about this Hershey store. Never been in a Hershey store. Didn't think I was going to buy anything out the Hershey store. Almost got out of the Hershey store with only these two candy bars. 
until I'm standing in line and I'm looking around, just looking, and I spot purple. <laughs> Y'all know I got out that line, right? I had to go see what this little purple that was sticking out, like just calling my name. It was a shirt. It was a purple Hershey shirt with a silver Hershey kiss in the middle of it. Oh my goodness, you all know I got that shirt right. Out of all the stuff in this Hershey store, they had a purple shirt hidden off in the cut and it made its way out. Just just the tip of it. I just saw just the shoulder part. I'm like, what is that purple over there? I went. Y'all, I fell in love. So, the Hershey store is really nice. It does not have as many things as the m and store, but it was a great experience. I really, really enjoy it. And you know what? It made me realize Hershey make more things than what I thought. So, when I started seeing a different candy, I was like, oh, that's that Hershey. You know, so it was a learning experience. It was a fun experience. And I'm glad that my friend wanted to go in to the Hershey store. So if you're in Vegas or you plan to go to Vegas, drop into the Hershey store as well. Last thing, I said that before, but this really the last thing. They have this giant, like, one pounder or two pounder candy bar. And you can make your own labels to the candy bars. I wanted to do that, but it was just, the line was just ridiculously too long and we was on a time little limit that we had to um move on to the next destination or thing that we was doing so i opted to just forget it that would be one of the things on my list that when i return back to vegas i'll go to the hershey store and make sure i get that so that i thought that was cool you could put your picture on it y'all know i'm a picture lover you could put your picture on it or whatever you want to say on this candy bar and it'll say hershey's I just love the idea. So, just want to share that with you all. So, Debbie, look out, girl, for your payday because I can't wait to see what you have to say about the Texas barbecue payday. If you all want to see my purple shirt, I'm going to post it on my Instagram page. So, go over to IG and check it out. Until next time, you all be blessed. Keep creating.